In this video, we will learn what is cortical bone and what is cancellous bone. Cortical bone has another name. It is also called compact bone. So these two are one and the same. And cancellous bone has other names. It is also called trabecular bone and it is also called spongy bone. Trabecular bone because uh, they have trabeculae. Trabeculae means thin plates of bone and spongy bone because it looks like sponge. And so these three are also the same, one and the same. So the different names for same structures. Uh, now we'll look what is cortical and what is cancellous in a diagram. This is a longitudinally cut section of the femur. And in this, you can very clearly see that the diaphyseal part has a very thick arrangement of bone and that is called as the compact bone. And you can see that that is on the outside of the bone. That is why it is called cortical bone. And if you look at this pattern from the diaphysis, if we go towards the end of the bone, towards the epiphysis, you can see that the compact bone is decreasing in its thickness. The thickness decrease, decrease, decrease. And it becomes a very thin shell of compact bone on the outside. Uh, if, if when we go to the upper end of the femur. But in contrast, if you look at the core of the femur, uh, here, uh, uh, there you have only compact bone, but as you go here, uh, you can see it is all replaced by thin plates of bone. This thin plates of bone are known by the name cancellous bone. Okay, this is very clearly seen when you have a look at an x-ray. In an x-ray, you can see that the compact bone is what you are seeing here. This is compact bone. You can see it's very thick in the diaphyseal part of the femur, but it decreases in its thickness as we ascend upwards. Uh, and uh, reducing itself to a shell of cortical bone. But if you look at this part, you can see a lot of fine fibers. This is, they are very, very fine, but you can uh, see that they are arranged like fine hair, like it, some say that it looks like small honeycomb-like structures. And that is the cancellous bone. They are actually plates of very thin bone. Uh, this is more seen in the upper end. So in the head of the femur, the neck of the femur, the greater trochanter, all these parts, you can see a four share for the cancellous bone or the trabecular bone mass. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the cancellous bone, at a single site, you feel that it is randomly arranged, but there are actually specific patterns of uh, these trabecular bone arrangement. Then uh, these are different named trabecular bone arrangement that you see in the proximal part of the femur. We are not going to the names now, but let us have a look at that in an x-ray and we can see that that is again seen that that arrangement you can see this arrangement over here you can see this arrangement over here and so you can understand that this trabecular bone are not just randomly arranged they have specific patterns and these patterns are actually reflecting the weight transmission that is occurring through uh, proximal end of the femur so this trabecular pattern though it looks like sponge the arrangement of this trabecular bone is very important for weight transmission through the proximal end of the femur and also in the other epiphyseal parts of many bones.